Hey everyone, uh, I am Casper here, just bringing you a uh, gameplay. It's a 53 and 3 on Newt Town. This is just a uh, normal TDM. Um, this, I just basically joined this game late and um, no teammates or anything, just played it out. Um, ended up basically being the whole team, and you can see the lag right there. It actually happens a few times. It's I'm not sure what it is, whether it's my internet connection or the computer. Um, Basically, though, I'm just going to talk about um, relying on teammates in basically a first-person shooter. Um, and I am playing TDM. TDM isn't really an objective-based game. Um, the only thing you can really rely on your teammates for is basically getting a good kill-to-death ratio because that's what team deathmatch is all about. It's you know the person, the team that gets to the you know 75 kills or 100 kills or whatever the limit is. And if you're going negative in your kill to death ratio, then you're detrimental to your team. Um, that said, getting a low score but a good kill to death ratio isn't also very helpful. Uh, when relying on teammates, especially in Call of Duty, it can be hard if you're not with, if you're not partied up with a group of good people, um, because they can let you down. Uh, you can get some absolute noobs sometimes, so it's all basically chance. But if you've got a team, then you know what to expect, um, and you can generally get a good uh, a good win, and it can be quite easy. Like if you've got a lot of good players, then you can get a spawn trap going, and you can basically catch them off guard, like the enemies, so you can just get them straight off spawn. Um, that was a good save by my teammate there. Thank you very much. Um, so basically, say, like if you're playing something like Domination. Um, teammates are very helpful. You don't want them to push into the other spawn. You don't want to flip spawns because you want to know where they're going to come from. You know, if you everyone knows what Call of Duty spawns are like, they, they flip. You know, you'll get someone spawn next to you, someone spawn behind you, and having good teammates helps out a lot. It means they, you know, they're not going to push the spawn. But they're going to hold back. They're just going to make sure that they know where the enemies are going to spawn. You know where they're coming from, because if some, you know, we get one guy, like Interchange is a good example on MW3, if you have someone run in, in Interchange into the C dominate, oh, sorry, the A domination spawn, then that flips the whole thing completely and spawn at C, which is a quite a fair while away if you know what Interchange is like. Uh, if you have a good team, every, like the Interchange spawn trap is one of the best spawn traps in basically Call of Duty history. Uh, you know, I've seen Moabs upon Moabs from every per like, every, like you can get a Moab from any spawn site on that map. It's just ridiculous. But if you end up being on that losing team, you are in the spawn trap. You can't rely on your teammates to get like to help you out. You know, when there's air support like here, you know, you have to be the one that takes it out because a lot of the time people aren't gonna take notice. They go, oh yeah, someone else will do it for me. Or, you know, he can do it, I'm not going to bother doing it. You know, you got to tell him either shoot it down with your guns or make yourself a class with rocket launchers so you can take it out. Because a lot of the time that does happen, you can't always prevent someone from getting a kill streak. And you can rush them, but you know, if they're on the other side of the map and you can't get to them, then you can't stop them. And they can call it in and you're basically screwed. Um, in, with Call of Duty Black Ops 2, um, the whole leagues implementation will hopefully get people to actually talk over the mics. If anyone plays PC, they know what it's like. You're trying to get people to talk over the mic is really helpful, calling out enemies' positions. Um, so I think Black Ops 2, like the leagues play that they're trying to implement, will actually be rather beneficial. <laughs> it's a pretty good fail there. Uh, it will be a good addition because it will get the casual players into. Uh, a bit more hardcore, a bit more competitive, and then we can start seeing the the level of the average player get higher and higher, which will push uh, better players to go further and further and get better. And this is a pretty good example of how playing average players or playing bad players, like how easy it is to absolutely dominate them. I, I don't do anything really special here, I'm versing some pretty average players. Um, and the times I die are generally because I've just been outplayed, or it's I've just come, you know, I've just done absolutely nothing to do anything against them. I've just been outplayed, or I'm getting outgunned, or they're just really good players, which they aren't really that good because I just went 53 and three on them. But as you may have noticed in the gameplay, there's only one guy with a rocket launcher. He is doing everything to stop me. There's no one else on the enemy team 
So it's really up to him to take me out. The whole team, like no one else is, everyone's relying on this one guy to take out um, my kill streaks. So that's basically what relying on teammates is really fault at because I'm just going to town on these guys and one person is doing it. So if everyone ran rocket launches, there would be a lot more rage because I hate when people take out my kill streaks just because they can't earn their own. But that's just my opinion. Um, here's the end of the gameplay. I hope you enjoyed the commentary. See you later.